run through a forest it looks like. Do I have to click anything? My inner dan- wait, hold on. My- what does that say? What- what is this? What's happening? So I'm a bird? Okay, so I'm not controlling any of this. As crow. Okay. So we got a crow and we got um, the person run through the forest. <laughs> that little plop on the ground. Uh, okay, I'm liking this so far. He's having fun. He's, he's rocking out. Come on, get up. Your fight isn't over yet. What is she running from? What? I thought you were in a fo what? What? Huh? My inner demon. Okay, so we're in a house now. What? What happened? Where am I? Oh shit. Oh god. A dead man. Ah. Oh, what a twist. <laughs> Journal entry. I woke up in this strange place. I have no idea who I am or where this is. I feel weirdly calm. I will look around and see if I can find any clues to see what is going on. Okay, great. Oh, got a knife. Mm. Come on, pick up the knife. Protect I wonder yourself. Who it belongs to. Well, you should read it. Oh, hello. September 12th, 1980. I have arrived at Mountain View. I can see where the names come from. The mountains and trees surrounding the town gives it a... I have a ground apartment at the Bellgate building. It has so much character and history. The other tenants are very friendly and helpful. I was moved in a jiffy. Not that I had many belongings with me, I quickly found space for them among my Aunt Sally's stuff. Anna invited me for dinner. I hope she will be my first friend here. Wait, am I Anna? I think I'm Anna. And that's the dead man. That's his diary. Perhaps. A man with bad luck, called John, lived here. Hearing his tale will give you a tear. This apartment was his mom's before violence turned her into bloody gore. Okay. Last month he lost his wife, house, and job. He sold his mom's old stuff with a sob. Mom's life insurance gave him some hope, but bad luck showed him he was a dope. Please, find that precious piece of paper, else you too will die from the vapor. The paper is the source of his soul. Find it, and you will have reached your goal. Okay, the Find cool. John's life insurance. Got it. Interesting. I will- Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, a strange crow started talking to me. Crazy, I know. He told me about John and how I must find his mom's life insurance. And that's it, okay. Interesting, this is cool. I really wish I could pick up the knife and defend myself, but you know, that's okay. okay Alright, um... So we gotta find a piece of- oh. Poor guy. His mom must have died horrendously. But what happened? Was it a demon? <coughs> oh, this stinks. What- what is this? Vapor? That's a- that, that's a- Let's that get rid talking. of some of these bottles. It's right there. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, oh, I see the door opened up. Okay, well, can I talk to the crow? Hello? No, can't talk to you. Ooh. What? What happened? I teleported? Oh my god! Just so casual about it. <gasps> Damn, another dead body? Um, can I move? Okay. I teleported after finding John's insurance. I cannot believe it. It feels so strange. Looking through the windows, it is all dark. I can see some buildings, trees, and rocks. And that's all we have so far. Sarah was a really lucky girl. 
She received good news, which made her twirl. The lottery gave her some money, just enough to keep her day sunny. She wanted to help her good friend John. He fell again for another con, buying crates of shady bottles of wine. Drinking one made her feel not so fine. She hid her cash in a secret place. Find her stash. Bring a smile to her face. In that way, you have saved her soul. There's more to the story. More of foul. Find Sarah's stash. Got it. This is very cool. This time, I'm looking for Sarah's stash. I cannot refuse. Otherwise, I will be stuck in this apartment for a very, very, very long time. Huh. I what hope is it this? is more interesting than the last one. All right, we'll see. September 22nd, 1980. The building is foggy, damp, and dark. It needs repairs, which are starting to become extensive, and is beginning to eat up my savings. The saving grace of this place is the view and the area. Dinner at Anne's, Anna's was awkward. She doesn't say much, and I had to carry the whole conversation. She seems quite naive. The weather forecast is sunny with some clouds later today. I'll be able to do some washing. Uh, what what was just highlight? Oh, I another knife. I don't think I want to touch it. Why don't you want to protect yourself with a knife? I don't understand. There's something in this apartment killing people, and you don't want to pick up the knife. Uh, is that her stash? That that's why I got to pick. Oh, Jesus. Wow, you got messed up. Alrighty. So she has a secret stash somewhere. Can I crouch? No. No, I cannot. It's probably... Oh. You would think with all that money, she would buy a new couch. It's in the couch, though, isn't it? Oh, a key. This will open a door. Thank you, couch, for just randomly moving. I can't open that door? Really? Uh, wait, what? What do you mean? I can't open this up? That key did nothing? Uh, nothing there? Anything? Yeah, there it is. Gotcha. Ah. Ah, cool. I can't talk to the crow? No? Okay. Do I just gotta go this way? Now where am I? Another... I, I'm going to puke. Why? Oh, shit, that's Dear why. God, more dead bodies? Oh. oh, you didn't even see the body. Teleported again. This time, I'm not feeling so well. Strangely enough, I don't feel hungry or thirsty. I have no wish to use the toilet either. A healthy oh. man lived in number three. Live healthy was his basic decree. Ben had another secret passion. Collecting cars was out of fashion. He wasn't alone loving his toy cars. Sarah's toy car lanes left many scars. She would always forget to pick up, giving Ben a reason to blow up. Last night he was taking a warm bath, the last time he would explode with wrath. Can you please find his favorite toy car? You will find a soul on your radar. Find Ben's huh. favorite toy car. Got it. Huh. Alright. Find Ben's toy car. Really? A grown man and a woman playing toy car. Toy car. Ugh, toy cars. Jesus. I wonder if there I should go. even read it. Maybe. Well, let me see. Yeah, give it a little peek. September 28th, 1980. The longer I stay here, the better I get to know the people. The tenants were friendly at first, but they are starting to show a different side. John Tenant Number 5 wasn't born under a lucky star. When I tried to dissuade him from a bad investment, I was ignored. Sally Tenant Number 6, her place has the smell of a distillery. Another I don't knife. Like knives. Why don't you want to protect yourself, goddammit? So we gotta find a toy car. Alright. 
Where would that? Oh, in here maybe. I wonder if you have anything inside of you. Well, maybe he did. Nothing. But you didn't even look. Damn. Oh, is it no? Okay. Oh, I hello. hate looking under strange beds. Why? It's not that strange. Gotcha. Yeah. They, yep. Huh. All right. Uh oh, the music is getting like amped up. That's good. The crow again. Why am I not surprised? Oh, how embarrassing. I threw up, but strangely, strangely fear freeing. I feel a lot better. Also more optimistic that I will get out of here and away from the crow. But the crow is helping you. Stay with the crow. Be with the crow. Is that Thor's hammer? Oh shit. Obviously, the latter was the tool, killing her and leaving a blood pool. She loved to play piano at night. Her fake Van Gogh's a beautiful sight. Anna lent her ladder to Ben last. And when she got it back, she sighed aghast. He didn't look after her ladder. Mm, she's a lady and showed no anger. It shows you, no matter how wealthy, death is king, and we will bend the knee. The piano might be your first clue, or maybe it is the horse statue. Uh, what must I search for? The piano or the horse statue must have a clue. Got it. Wait, hold on. Who? Am I... I keep saying Ellie, right? But I... Anna seems to be connected to each and every single one of these characters. Oh shit. Alright. Now what can be hiding behind these doors? Nothing. 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 Then it must be the piano. Maybe. I f Anna seems to be connected this to each of these deaths. Music box. My character says Ellie, but I have a feeling that I'm Anna. I can I look away? I don't I don't like this. The music is amping up. There's eerie music in the distance. I'm fucked. And... Oh, no, that was it? Oh, oh god damn it. The horse scared Another me. Another journal. Somebody must love writing. October 10th, 1980. Tired tripping over Ben's car. Tried telling him to put them away, but he keeps arguing that Sarah is the one putting them in the corridors. Anna is such a silly woman, she will believe anything. Ben told her about a ghost living on the roof, and now she keeps nagging me to keep the door uh, to keep the roof doors locked. I ignore her for the most of the most of the part. Uh, I ignore her most of the time because I enjoy visiting Aunt Sally's pot plants and looking out over the view. Which was odd today. A lot of crows gathered on the street lamps. They seem somehow menacing. Always the sign of death, I wonder. Anna. Anna keeps popping up. The music sheet. Every time. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I feel like the knife plays a, somehow plays a role in her, I don't know. She's just, she's afraid of knives every time. The, and the dialogue is different. I just, I feel like there's something that has to do with the knife. Not not for this clue, but it's it's constantly reoccurring. Oh, there's a Oh 
I am sorry you know how competitive Beth is. So Anna and so there's Anna, Beth, Sarah. Okay, I'm, I'm, there's Ben. I, I just don't know. But you know how, sorry, you know how competitive Ooh, Beth is. I didn't throw up. Yeah. Oh shit. So, Dr. Watson, what do we have here? <laughs> you're getting, like, you're getting really, really casual about Beth this. was always a fragile person. She had a strong will and liked to win. She loved to read any kind of book, but never ever ask her to cook. Anna brought dinner for Beth last night, taking a huge bite. Her throat got tight. Every body part started to swell. She couldn't get a word out to yell. Allergies can be so dangerous. It can leave you totally breathless. Beth's favorite was an adventure. Follow the clues and find the answer. Adventure? Hmm, her favorite thing to do is read. Maybe I am after a book? Got it. So, okay, this is this is getting interesting. So Anna is the murderer then. She's she's going after each person. I guess each person's weakness. Hold on, let me see here. So, I feel elated and in good spirits. Aladdin in good spirits. Don't know why, just feeling that my trials are nearly ending. Find Beth's favorite adventure book. Okay. I feel like just there's the wine, there was the cars, there's the toy cars. Like, it, it sounds like Anna is going after everyone's essentially favorite hobbies and using that against them in some way. The poor thing was really ill. Yeah. But see, that's the thing, like, the the toy cars. Use the toy cars to kill that, uh, to kill Ben. Use the music or something, I don't know, just, wow, Anne is so always somehow tied or connected to someone's death. So is there anything specific that I gotta look for? Let's see, I don't want to miss anything. Nope, okay. Yes, oh, another I journal. need to read it. The last journal left me on the cliffhanger. October 14th, 1980. Repairs are on course. I saw Anna offering Beth some nuts, which she loudly refused. On a side note, had to help Anna drag her ladder to Ben's apartment. What a lazy man that he can't help us. I am being side-eyed by Beth. I'm hearing my name being mentioned between the tenants, yet each time I turn around, they all have something else to do. Tonight, I'm calling a meeting to the rooftop where I, we can talk this out. Maybe, maybe this is me writing the the journal. Maybe I'm Ellie, who is the outsider. Nothing in the pot. I don't know. This is why do all knife. these people have the same knife? Yeah, see, it's reoccurring. Thank you. She finally said it. I'm glad I'm not the only one. So... Oh. Gotcha. Just in the, the shower. Okay. So we're we're going through the apartments going up to the, uh, the roof. So we're going to see Anna up there. She's probably going to be some demon or some shit. We keep going up. This must have been how the Star Trek crew felt. Beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> it's kind of weird how Ellie's enjoying this. You do know I'm getting this. tired of this. Seeing dead bodies and searching for their souls. When can I go home? So, where's the body? And it's Anna. We found her. Let's see here. So what do you have to say? The crow isn't speaking to me. Don't know why. I have done all he asked. We'll look around and see if I can find the next soul. Why, who, when, where, evil. It's Anna. We found the demon. Oh no. Now, she's probably going to be... Yep. 
Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Ellie, my dear, you naughty girl. I knew it wasn't for the murderous thrill. You gave John the old paint tins with lead. Poisonous gas made sure he was dead. You knew Sarah bought some wine bottles, poison it, made sure she crumbles. The next one not so easy to plan, a red toy car brought down a whole man. You borrowed Anna's ladder from John, the next person on it would be gone. Lastly, but not forgotten, poor Beth. You made sure that dinner meant her death. What will be the motive for all this? Your eviction case will be dismissed. You wanted to sell this old building, but the tenants fought you for this thing. You came up with this brilliant plan. The execution made me a fan. The scene will end with this final call. Oh, God. It was me. I killed them all. Oh shit. What a twist. Just one more thing. Where is the Bonnie? This is the last one which you will see. I'm gonna die now. No? Or is it gonna be They Anna? got you. Just before you got them. Repent before your souls get condemned. Purgatory at last is over. Let go of the past and the anger. Oh. In loving memory of my mom. Damn. That was really good. I really like that. Wow. An interesting story, a nice twist to it. Great music. Huh. That was really cool, actually. I thank you everyone who believed in me, advice, and wow. That was badass. That was, wow. That was extremely impressive for an indie game. Well done. Well, anyways, that was my inner demons, everyone. That was a really cool, well thought out game. I really like the story behind it. I mean, I was definitely thrown off the whole time. I thought it was Anna who was the murderer, but I guess at some point. Anyways, this is all the time I have for this video. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a wonderful day.